Greetings, friends of our Blessed Lady. This week we turn our attention to the two images of St. Joseph on the entrance to our central shrine of the Miraculous Medal. They represent two Catholic liturgical feasts of Joseph, March 19th, patron of the, the Universal Church, and May 1st, St. Joseph the Worker. For a fuller commentary on the origin of these two Josephite feasts and the virtues of St. Joseph, see the script below this video. You may need to click on March 13th, 2018 to access the script. To the left of the viewer, our image portrays Joseph as patron of the church, with his right hand open to heaven in intercessory prayer for the church, and his left hand holding a shepherd's staff that symbolizes his authority over the church as her patron. Our second image of Joseph on the right commemorates his title, Patron of Workers. Like the Marian stained glass medallion of the Holy Family, the image portrays Joseph and his son Jesus in their carpenter shop in Nazareth. Jesus is holding wood shaped into a cross, a premonition of what is to follow in his adult life. Joseph, his left hand on Jesus' shoulder, shows his support for his adopted son as he gazes lovingly in his direction. St. Joseph is a, quote, silent saint who was given the noble task of caring for and watching over the Virgin Mary and her son Jesus. He now cares for and watches over the church, and he models for all of us the dignity of human work. It is most fitting that in our chapel, Joseph appeared close to the central shrine of his beloved spouse, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. Our prayer this week is a combination of the two collects from the Josephite feasts, St. Joseph's Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary on March 19th and St. Joseph the Worker on May 1st. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the, the, the works that you set us to do to attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Next week, we will reflect upon the image of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton on the entrance to our central shrine. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage, and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.